once the conditions are met, we have confessed our sins, we have repented of our sins, God promises to restore that which was lost. God's promises cannot fail. And once we believe and claim and meet those conditions, we are sure by faith that God has fulfilled his promise. What we're going to be doing in this section is to examine the things that were lost and what God promises to restore. Firstly, our distance from God. The Bible tells us that your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sins have hid his face from you. God's promise is that he, would, he will draw near to us. He will recover that distance by drawing near to us. The Bible says, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Secondly, God promises to restore a right relationship with him. Our sinful condition places us in a state of being condemned under the condemnation of the law. But the Bible tells us that God says, God promises to forgive our sins. He says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In Isaiah 1 verse 18, the Bible says, Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red as crimson, they shall be as wool. And he also says that he will take away the filthy garments from us and restore unto us a clean garment. Our iniquities are taken and we are clothed with the robe of his righteousness. The third thing that God promised to restore is to restore the love of God in our hearts. By sin, our heart have been overtaken with selfishness, with pride, and with worldliness. As Isaiah says, the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. But the Bible promises, God promises to give us a new heart and to renew a right spirit within us. And that's why the, the psalmist could claim this promise, creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. So I want you to see God fulfilling that promise even now as you, do, you claim them. God also promises to restore power to do what is right. Through sin, our nature is weakened and we cannot do what is right. Romans 8 verse 8 says, They that are in the flesh cannot please God. But God promises to empower us through the Holy Spirit. And Romans, the book of Romans is replete with promises, but I claim this one. It says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. God also promises to restore our position as sons of God. By transgression, the devil claims us as his children. Jesus says, you are of your father the devil, and the loss of your father he will do. But those who believe in him, it says, behold, what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth not, us not because it knew him not. So God will restore our position to that of sonship, just as he restored the prodigal son who thought that he was only going to be a servant. God is going to restore us and cause us his son. God will empower us and restore in us the power to preach the gospel. In, in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, it says, You shall receive power. And finally, God promises to restore relationship with others. These two last ones are specific to the church as a body. That as the Holy Spirit comes upon us, as he restores in us his right spirit, unity is restored, power is restored in the church, and the church can truly impact the world for God. So let us claim this promise in Hosea chapter 6 and verses 1 to 3. As we prepare to pray, come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as a morning 
and he shall come unto us as a rain, as a latter and former rain upon the earth. It is my prayer that even today, God will pour out the latter rain upon his people. Even today, we can claim Pentecostal power, but more so in these last days, we need the latter rain power. And the promises of God are there to claim they cannot fail. Amen.